Arthur Ismay, Captain U.S. Navy, retired. In a short period of time, I received orders to command Boat Squadron 1. And, uh, and in order to take over that command, I was ordered back to the amphibious base in Coronado uh, for meetings with the commander of the amphibious force and other people. <clears throat> it was there that I began to understand uh, what was going on, what the plans were for the swift boats. And I was really delighted with the command. Uh, my wife came out to be with me for a couple of weeks that I was there. And I then left knowing more about the organization. And uh, uh, flew back to uh, Saigon and arrived a few days before the first swift boats arrived in Vietnam. And when they arrived, I saw them disembark from the uh, ship that brought them over. And there was a division commander with them. His name was Broyo. And, uh, I met the skippers of the, and, and the crews of the two first swift boats, which as I recall were PCF-3 and PCF-4. Uh, we had no facilities ashore at that time, and, and the ships and their crews were satellite, provi were provided mooring space, and mess hall facilities and bunk facilities from a tender. The USS Krishna was the name. Um, the orders that we had were to patrol and interdict any Viet Cong craft that would come through the area. <clears throat> well, from two, from two swift boats in Antoy, we then received swift boats in Da Nang and more in Antoy, and then we received boats swift boats in uh, Queen Anne and uh, also in uh, Katmo. So we had swift boats from just south of Da Nang all the way into the into the Gulf where Antoy was based, where Antoy is located. So the time was a uh, really very busy time. Uh, it was uh, a time that I was flying around from base to base to meet people to see how we could help. And being the intermediary between the boat crews and the commands who uh, were responsible for their training in, in San Diego and for people who were responsible for their the changes in the boats that we needed to make. Uh, all that was done by radio message uh, and I received a lot of cooperation from the training facility Confit Prey Pack in San Diego and from the uh, supervisor of shipbuilding and uh, I think it was built in, in New Orleans, but I have to think a little 
little more about the place where the swoop boats were built. They all came out of the same uh, boat building. So, uh, 